The seaplanes of Lake Union are icon, a signature of the lake, both acoustically and, and in that mixture of, of seemingly incompatible uses of, of this lake. The lake Union has been the, the, a seaplane base since 1914 when Silas Christofferson uh, was hired to fly exhibition flights over the city. The first time a Seattle mayor went up in an a aircraft at all was Hiram Gill flew in, in 1914. In 1916, Bill Boeing built a hangar, a three-bay hangar for $10,000 at the base of, of Roanoke. He built it as for pilot training to prepare for World War I, as it was a very patriotic thing to do, and people did this all over the country. Um, and he used it for some fairly significant first flights. The first flight, of course, of his first aircraft. It also was the first international, where they flew the first international airmail from here to Victoria. Boeing's first passenger flights came off of Lake Union, and we don't remember, a lot of us, that Boeing actually was an airline. The seaplanes and the sailboats and the kayaks and the, the work boats, the swimmers, all in together in a, in a very small space of water. Most people think this just can't happen. I'm guessing that Lake Union is, is the busiest seaplane base as far as number of takeoffs in the United States on any given summer's day. And it's been a preeminent the seaplane base for the country, if not the whole hemisphere, since 1916. Most people would look at this on the face and say, this is not compatible, but somehow it is. And I can tell you to be out in a, uh, in a canoe out on the lake with the seaplane taking over you and water from the pontoons coming down on top of you, it's exhilarating. It, it is, is a, a wonderful experience and uh, I will go out on the lake just to have that happen knowing that both the seaplane operator and the canoeist are safe.